common misconception among elementary age students is that technology only refers to those things that are powered by electricity. Um, but this experience leads them to a deeper understanding of technology and engineering. The insights gained also allow them to see that engineering and science is a creative endeavor and that um, innovation and technology have had a huge impact uh, on the world in which we live. I saw a lot of great thinking going on. Um, I saw a lot of connections, a lot of arrows pointing to other people's thoughts. I saw somebody write, I never thought of that. So let's just kind of summarize um, what we uh, may have learned. So what is technology? Rowan. That there always has to be a source of power. Charlie? Uh, you need to like, you, the power source can't always be on, so sometimes you're gonna need to, Charge power source. Okay. Anybody want to add to that, Anna? Well, technology is something that works electronically and helps us support things. We start the lesson with a chalk talk where students explore the question, what is technology? And then students work collaboratively using the See, Think, Wonder routine. Uh, and they look closely at examples, everyday objects as examples of technology. For example, a paper clip, a sticky note, and um, scissors. And then students uh, examine the parts and they make note of uh, what problem the object solves. Uh, and they think about also what might some other potential uses for the object might be. And they start to discover that technology is everywhere around us and that engineers are people that create technologies. So the question is, is it human made or natural? What it do you think? What, why, no, what makes you say that? You could but the, the spoon itself, do we find those like out in the natural world growing on trees? No. So it's human made. What else could we use it for? Yeah. So what problem uh, do you think the paper clip solves? Okay, so it organizes paper. What do you think people may have used before the paper clip was designed? Any ideas? Rowan? A paper weight, maybe, yeah, okay. All right, uh, so is the paper clip human made or is it natural? Human made. Okay, uh, so we don't find paper clips like growing on trees, right? No, all right. What did all of these, um, these mystery objects have in common then? They are all. Rachel? So they're all made by humans. And what else? Let's look at our, our chart. What else do they have in common? Rowan? They all have different uses. So different uses, right? They all solve a problem, problem meet a need. Okay. Next, uh, students complete a sort using resources from the Smithsonian Learning Lab collection and they decide whether or not those are examples of technology. Uh, and as a result, they're able to come to the conclusion uh, that technology is the human use of scientific knowledge to solve a problem or meet a need, and that it also includes processes like farming uh, or even systems like the Morse code. A hand axe? Yeah, they carved it. Yeah. Butterflies or man-made are not man-made. How about smartphone? Yay. Yep. The wooden toy. No. Wooden toy is technology. Oh, great. How about the bike? Yes. Yeah. How about a bonnet? Yes. Yes. Bonnet's technology? No. no. Yes. No. Bonnet is technology. Shoes? Yes. 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 Yeah. Oh. Uh, how about the game yes. controller? Yes. You all agree on that. Yes. Telegraph key. Yes. You guys made a model of a telegraph. How about Morse code? Yes. Yes. Farming. No. Farming, yes. Yeah, so for me, as I really began to examine what understanding is and the, the processes involved, I recognized that in times in my classroom, uh, we were more focused on maybe completion of work and delivery of content rather than developing a deep understanding. So now when I plan lessons, um, units, I ask, you know, what does thinking and learning look like? Um, what learning will be most relevant 
to these kids uh, in, in the world that they live? And um, how do I know if my students are learning? We looked at the mystery objects. We know that those are examples of technology. And what did we say our definition was? Human made and solves a problem in some way, right? Or meets a need. So uh, some of you are were questioning the wooden toy. What, what need does that meet? Or what problem does that solve? Charlie? It just solves like, oh, I know. It solves that. No, go, why would you play with a toy? Yeah, you're bored, so it solves the problem of boredom, right? It meets a need. Um, what about the handheld fan? What problem does that solve? Harper? Cools you down, right? How can we define technology? Here's what we're going to do. Last uh, part of this lesson is in your gray bin, you guys have an exit ticket. And one side says, I used to think technology was. So write down what you used to think about technology before we started this lesson and now what you think. So this experience, um, and I spent a week in Washington DC uh, visiting all the, the Smithsonian museums, uh, it really just motivated me to continue to grow. Um, so you know as a result I continue to, to seek ways to promote dispositions needed for the students to become effective thinkers and active learners um, and really global citizens.